Hey, y'all, and welcome back to the First and Long Show. This is another blind reaction. Today, we've got number five, Florida State versus Florida. Uh, this game is is in the swamp. It's at Florida. I have not seen this game. Um, I, I know the final score, but I don't know how we got there. So I'm ready to break this down and watch it with you. Let's get into it. Tonight, Florida's swamp stands directly in the path of a perfect season. For the Gators, our tribal. So this must be ESPN's game of the week. An old rivalry and a very high impact chapter. Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreet calling the game. Evening, trying to get to do Let's so get like this. Now I know we were on the backup quarterback for both teams. So I think that was kind of the big storyline headed into this week. Um, an undefeated Florida State team. What what are they gonna look like without Jordan Travis, right? And when Florida, without Graham Mertz, who had been playing really well, what are they going to, what's Florida going to look like? Um, I told you in our preview show that that I felt like this game was going to be low scoring and it was going to be one on the ground. And um, I'm anxious to see kind of how it went. Oh, second, I'm trying not to block the screen here with, with my ugly face. Okay, let's see if it works here a little bit better. It's a good pass there by Brown. Way to get the first down. All right, third and three. Oh. Wait, can they get him down? Nope. He's not able to get the first down. Good play by Jared Verse and that Florida State defensive line. 48 yard field goal. No. Pushed it right. Not really close. Third and 17. So Florida's defense must have. Man, they look pretty dang good in that, in that, uh, in that drive. Three and out. Not a great start for Rodemaker. Max Brown so far looks of, looks to be the better quarterback. Let's we'll see how the game plays out. Great first down run by Johnson. Let's see who wins on the on the ground here. Another first down. I, I'm impressed with with Mac Brown, Max Brown, excuse me, being able to extend drives so far. Oh, what a throw! Sheesh, on the run. That was a heck of a throw. Yep, got it to Johnson. No, oh, Etienne. First down, good run. Younger brother Travis Etienne plays for the Jags now. No. Ah, uh, half the distance to the goal. Offside. Let's see. Dang. Brown looked like he was hurt on that play. Second goal here. Hand the ball off. Nothing going there. Looks like we'll have to settle for a field goal. So we got a third down. Start of the second quarter. Holy cow. They are just all over this young quarterback. Flag on the play. It's a flag. Seriously? Hold on. Why? I don't understand. He just ran right into him. What is it? I don't see that at all. Uh, I don't get that call at all. Un I, I, I can't wrap my head around that. That looked like a very clean hit. And it leads to a touchdown for Florida. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> very controversial call, Chris Fowler. Thank you.
defense with all the bells and whistles. Look at the Florida State defense react to this right here. Yeah, he had a wide open hole there. They've got a lot of motion going on so far, I've noticed, with, with Florida's offense in this game. They're kind of pulling out all the tricks offensively, and why not? This is, I mean, they need this win to go bowling. They're five and six on the year. It's a rivalry game at the Swamp. I mean, if, uh, if Florida was able to win this game, I think Billy Napier's job gets a whole lot easier. They're up seven nothing at this point. And the play clock winds down. They take a no, it's a fake. It's a fake. I hear whistles. What do they do? Call a timeout? But they took too much time. Delay of game. Delay of game. Daniel took off. Wow. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. It was a little pump ruski here, but they didn't. Wow. It's a big penalty. Now they gotta punt it. Wow. Close. That whistle seemed to come in right as that ball was being snapped in the big fella, Daniel. And it works, except there was a second late. Yep, now they have to punt it. Estramano. Ooh, it almost got blocked. Right, like a lot of odds. He's had to dodge some pressure, then kicks he, it in the got a bad, it landed in the eighth row on the far bad, side bad the punt right there. Field. That was a shame. That's the family section over there for the visiting team. Punt wow. Mastermano just 16 yards. So now they get the ball at the 40-yard line. Fake punt was negated by the penalty. That was a Gators huge turn of events with that penalty. So, I feel like Florida State has had some bad luck so far to start the game with the penalties. I don't think he got it. We got 35-yard field goal. Looks like it's good. Yep. Through. The analytics Kirk say go for it on fourth and one. They always seem to say go for it, but what's your thought on that decision? Kevin Moore has been injured. He comes back today. Third and eight. Nine minutes left in the half. They bring pressure on third down. Rodemaker Florida launching brings pressure. Look for Wilson. And that time kind of good defense. I'd like to see the cornerback get his head around, but his head he was, was in the right place. <laughs> Other than that, as it deflected the ball. Holy cow. Look what I found. Back to make the catch. He's a yard Great way to, to uh Lucky to avoid a turnover oh, there. They didn't and give they him the first down. The to fourth and one and they kick it. Ford is not taking many chances on fourth down this game. And that is a really good punt. Get it down to the six yard line. So Gotta feel good about that. Third and seven. Gators walk up a backer showing pressure and they bring it right up the middle. That's a safety. They brought a lot of pressure. Bagged him up, backed him up into the end zone. Wow. Wow. Florida State is not winning the special teams uh, area. And, man, it, it's costing them. They, they've been... They've been getting pushed back um, and not having great field position. I'm anxious to see how, how they turn it around. Looks like they almost hyperextended his legs there. Third and 17. Away he gets this, right? Yeah. Another punt. This is a Florida State defense that's been equipped in these situations and Three minutes, 20 seconds left in the half. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. Why, do, why was that part of the highlight reel? Oh, there was a penalty. Spitting? Wow, that's Jamar Lyons. That's a Dang. announcement from Jeff Heiser. See if he I don't know if this. I've seen that. Let's see. He was getting salty down there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he and did. Lions was the one that was on top with the player Remember earlier with the Florida State player. Electric plays throughout the season. That's disgusting. That's so far. He should be ejected for that. Good, really good pass by Rodemaker. Now, he's supposed to be a really good um, experience backup, so I'm, I'm anxious to see how he does, especially this coming up week against Louisville. Good run there by Tofili. 
gets the first down. Good hard run by Tofield. Love to see that. Rodemaker rolls to his left. Cross body. Great throw. Great catch by Johnny Wilson. He's a really big receiver, isn't he? My gosh. Watch when this ball comes out. It's before Johnny Wilson even turned. Good job of making a turn. Yep. Great catch. Knee, feet down. Great so they're on the one yard line. First and goal. Got to be able to punch this in, right? Right before the half. Great run. Touchdown, Knowles. So now it's going to be 7 to 12. Let's skip ahead here a little bit. Let's see what happens in this play. 23 seconds left. Found a hole. Johnson squirts through. Wow. 14 seconds left in the half. They're on the 25. Knocking on the uh, door of the red zone. Heck of a run there. That could not happen for Florida State. The safety. Good gosh. Number 12 right there. That's a terrible angle. If, if you're going to come up, come up with some speed. There's no angst there. Johnson again, right back to work. No way they let him score right here. I was about to say. You can't give up a touchdown at this point. What's the flag? A hold? Yep. And now an altercation after the play. Two linemen got into it. First was knocked down. A bit of acting there. But a Gator appeared to throw a punch at him. Number 67. 10-yard penalty. First down. This is salty. Damian George, who talked about the tackle, is struggling. A little bit of jawing. I mean, it's a rivalry game. What do you expect? Oh, my goodness. What a, uh, down kind of punched him in the face there. They're not going to call him on that. I know he was acting, but hooked it. This time he hooked it wide left. So smack a couple of misses in the first half. Yep. Two misses the there. Um, mm. Florida had an opportunity to be up 18 to 7. Let's see if it comes back to bite them. I mean, obviously, you'd prefer to have those six points, but. Good throw. Rodemaker does look pretty good passing the ball. Um, I mean, I know I'm not seeing every pass of the game, but y'all let me know what you thought of, of Rodemaker's debut. Seems like he's making some good decisions with the ball. Maybe he settled down in the second half and, you know, leads him to a comeback. Good run by Benson. Is he gonna, oh, wow. Great, great balance here. You know, I've been really high ever since last season on um, the running backs for Florida State. You know, I really liked uh, Treshawn Ward as well, and, and I know he went to Kansas State, but this uh, this running back crew is is really has really been impressive to me. Takes that angle and into the end zone. Jalen Kimber, it's not touch football. With their replacement quarterback, Kirk being on the road. Yeah, it looked like Kimber was not wanting to tackle the running back there. So now, third and 12, Florida State's regained the lead. Great catch by Pearsall. Got to get him involved more. I mean... He's the best player on offense, I think. But I, I think the quarterback maybe has struggled to get it there. Good run there by Johnson. Huge hole. Not impressed with this Florida State defense in this game so far, especially against the run. One second on the play clock. He gets it off and keeps it. Get down. Dude, they cannot afford for you to get hurt. Uh, I'd like to see him slide after he gets the first down. Montrell Johnson split far to the left. Another design run. It's a little bit shifty. It's about two yards on third and seven. Not, nothing, nothing doing there. Fourth down. Are they in field goal range? Looks like it. Already two misses. Let's see if he's able to make this one. 37 yard. 
business for the Gators to He's got to be able to hit lead. this one, right? Third time's a charm. And yeah. And he does get it inside that right upright. So Gosh, if you're a Florida fan, you'd love to have those other six points right now. And then a touchdown ties it, you know. So they start on the 11. But I guess they got backed up. Almost intercepted there. Fourth and 24, so they're going to have to punt, and Florida's going to have the ball back with really good field position. Mastromano rolls out. It's a high, short kick. Pearsall makes a fair catch at the 45. Take time away from the young quarterback. They Third and 14, so pressure. they got backed up at some he point. To much, down, much, Nobody's much open downfield for him. To, to pick it up with his legs right there and his fourth down. Yeah, they, they, fourth they down, they're going to have to punt it. Now in. Florida State's got the ball at about the 35. Third and 10. Has to throw, has to throw it out of bounds. Wilson was over there, but well covered, and the Gator is able to coming in. ETN this is like a field possession, field position type of game here. Of All right, fourth quarter. Florida's got a one-point lead. Third and four. Nothing, nothing doing on the ground. Good stop by the Florida State defense. Way to step up. That's a big stop for the Gators. That's a huge punt. Really big punt. And Keon Coleman gets uh -oh. look out. Keon Coleman could not Whoa. Cohen. What a great return. I thought they had him penned Got it out past the 40. To the 43. A Haven't seen Keon Coleman much this game. At least not in this highlight reel. Benson has the football. They're all Third and three, and they get stopped. Watson just swallowed him up. It's fourth and three. Fourth and three, and they got to go for it. Huh. That's an interesting. I mean, they are on the other side of the field there. They make it. Great job. I haven't seen Ja'Kai Douglas. I don't know him. Who is? He's got number zero, so he must be pretty good. But you'll tell me about Ja'Kai Douglas. Let me know about him. There's Johnny Wilson. On third down. They're going for the uh, touchdown here, aren't they? Go to the end zone, oh! Oh, man. Coleman, was by Bro. Second and goal, two tight ends in the game. Man, you got to catch that. Coleman in motion. Benson's got the ball. Benson running through arm tackles. Yeah, what's with the arm tackling? Now they got him stacked to the left. Florida has one. Florida, y'all are supposed to be an SEC defense. Some What's going on with the arm tackle? On the field. Play Third and goal. It's a great Stop there. there. That was not an arm tackle. That was a good tackle. Going to have to kick it. And fourth and goal. Seven minutes, 20 seconds left in the game. And they take a two-point lead. All right, Ford has got the ball, third and 16 now. He got backed up again. Golly, a lot of third and longs for, for Florida. That's That does not help a young quarterback who's trying to figure things out, it looks like. Second and 13 for Rodemaker. P.I., who's it on, though? It's got to be on the defense, right? Like they were hand fighting. I don't know about that. Third and 14. Got a hand on him, but he's able to get past it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're going to get ejected for that. And he is down and in distress. The heck are you doing? He gets under a lot of the contact. He gets and the Gators hit each they other. No, both went there. straight for his head. He's, hit. he's a defenseless player once he goes down and the Gators oh, yeah. have had some definitely in this game that have been costly. Definitely a concussion. You can see it in his eyes. The minute he starts to slide, the play is over, right? We've talked about that throughout the They season. should both be ejected. I think Brock Glenn, by the way, is the next man up for the Seminoles. He was the third string quarterback. That's He's terrible. So far, also had a touchdown run, by the way, in that game of That's 11 yards. Really on the field for targeting is confirmed. Number 23 is disqualified. 
Yeah, he should be. That was terrible. Rodemaker has a concussion, I'm telling you. I saw it in his eyes. So, I, I mean, he shouldn't really be playing. Keeps it around the right end and is tackled after about a seven yard gain. But offside defense. Good call. Yeah. And now Florida shooting themselves in the foot, trying to get the ball back with some time to go score. Power formation. Everybody lined up close to the football. Benson. Looks like they, they brought Rodemaker back in. Trey Benson with the touchdown. I'm telling y'all, these, these running backs. Uh oh. Is he hurt? Looked like he was holding his back. Good to see Jordan Travis at the game. Up in the sweep. Nine point lead for, for Florida State. I'm surprised that Rodemaker came back in because he looked really hurt. Golly, that defensive back for Florida has got to come up and take that hit. I think that's Kimber. Once again, Kimber just does not want to hit anybody, does he? He comes up and arm, tries to arm tackle. Like, hit somebody. Definitely looked like Benson hurt his back, but he, he wanted to celebrate still. Yeah, he's holding his back. Third and 19. Again, the third and longs here for the Florida quarterback, and he fumbles it. It rolls out of bounds. They maintain possession, but it's going to be fourth and 20 now. Intercepted. He threw it right into the hands of That's going to be the ball game. And he's one of the big linebacker here. So, I'm assuming that they're just going to kneel it after this. But a huge win for Florida State at this point. Um, They've got to go face Louisville, who looked good against Kentucky. I mean, I think I think that was just a really good game, a really really close game. Um, I, I'm not I'm not putting it past Louisville to win that game. Let me know Let me know what y'all think is going to happen. Um, is Florida State going to remain undefeated and punch their ticket to the college football playoff, which I think that they they should go if they stay undefeated. Um, but I'm anxious to see it. This is going to be a really good game coming up for the ACC championship. Um, that's going to do it for me, y'all. I, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, comment. Let me know what you think about Florida State and what their hopes are, are going to be like for the college football playoff. Um, but I really appreciate y'all watching and, and share this with a friend. Let them know that we're doing these and, um, you know, let me know what you think about the blind reaction videos and if we should keep doing them or not. Um, thanks again. I hope you have a chance to check out our actual reaction video where we break down the win uh, in a little bit more detail than what I've done here. But um, again, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a great day.